Okay, good morning Year 5. Uh, we're going to carry on looking at plants and the structure of plants and to do that we're going to set up a little experiment that I hope that you will have um, at least some of these things at home. So what I've got as options and if you've got all of them that's excellent, you can use them all. Um, I've got some celery, especially with leaves. You don't have to do it with celery with leaves because you can still see the effects of this investigation without the leaves but the leaves just make it look even better. So I've got some celery. Um, I also cut a white flower from the garden. Um, this was the only white flower I had. Um, but you could use daisies, you could use anything that's in your garden that is of a light colour. Really important that it's light. And what we're going to do is we are going to demonstrate that the water moves up through the stem and it gives water to the leaves and the petals. Um, so to show this, I'm going to use some food colouring, um, a nice dark one. Um, I'm just going to put some into a jar of water. You don't need to actually use um, a vase or anything fancy. You can just do this in something you are throwing away, so something out of the recycling bin. Um, what is important before you put any cut flower into water is that you cut the stem at an angle and then you just instantly put it into the water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this for a couple of days and have a look at the changes that happen. So that's my one flower there, all ready to go. Um, pop that there. So my next one, I'm just going to try with some different colours because why not? Um, and again with the celery it's really important that you cut the bottom off it. So the reason for this is once a flower is being cut, it actually creates a bit of an airlock at the bottom of the stem and it prevents the water from going up. So it's really important if you cut off the last sort of centimetre, two centimetres before you put it into the water, then um, it's got the best chance of working. So what we're hoping to do from this investigation is to show that water is up the stem. And what should happen is if you have done this before, which I'm sure many of you will have done, is that the leaves will change colour. The leaves will take on the colouring, uh, the colour of the food colouring because the water is being drawn up the stem and taken to the leaves and to the petals. And we can actually see this on Friday. I hope we can cut the celery in half and you'll actually see it's going up the xylem vessels that are inside the celery. So I've got one more to set up. Okay. I'm gonna put these colourful ones here so I can keep an eye on them. Oh. I'll adjust that one later and pop my last one in. What colour should we go for? Oh, let's go for this purple. So a few drops of food colouring in. If you don't have any food colouring, you could always try and use a natural food colouring. If you Google some natural food colourings and see what they are, um, things like red cabbage or beetroot um, would give the water a colour that would also travel up to them. So I've just snipped the ends off, I've popped them into my water, and hopefully we will see what happens on Friday. So that is the first thing that I'd like you to do today, is to set up the experiment for Friday. Leave it in a place that you can keep an eye on it. The second thing I'd like you to do, um, I'm going to just move you over here so you can see, is to draw um, a plant. And I'd like you to draw a plant just as simple as this, and write on it, um, the labels for the roots, the stem, the leaves and the flower and next to them I would like you to write down their job and how they are adapted to do that job. So for example I've just labelled the roots on mine but you're going to do all of them and I've put the roots, their job is to absorb water and nutrients and they're adapted to do this because they're long and thin and they have a large surface area. So that you can find out the information about this there is a video for you to watch on Firefly with a little bit more information. So um, at the end of today, could you please upload your labelled plant with labels and adaptations and a picture of your experiment set up and we'll review it on Friday.